Now that you have the basics down, you can do experiments and plastic containers. You put a piece of glass in the bottom with your tunnels on it. It can result in nice flat formicariums. There's your watering tunnel. Very easy to water in this manner. You just put it over the edge. You paint it. And it leads to all sorts of nice things. There's almost a never-ending variety of bigger tunnels for your Campanatus, medium tunnels for your Formica, and even some really nifty ideas. Oh, it goes this way. And there are lots more things you can do with them. You can make bigger frames, smaller frames. If you are worried about the backs and afraid of the beating of the water, you can glue in a piece of um, the plastic page protectors. Or if you've got bigger pieces, you can even use bits of tile. For any frame bigger than 8 by 10 or so, I would get a big tile from those from the hardware store or something for your floor tiles and glue that to the back. One, it will prevent leakage. Two, it will give you very good support. You can also put steel rods on the inside to give it strength, but I wouldn't bother with anything smaller than an 8x12. So, I think that is about it. Oh. Then, you can make your outworlds. Once again, this is just either sanded grout or unsanded grout. You pour it in, you add your decorations, you pour sand on top, pat it down lightly, let it dry for three or four days. It's going to have a hard time evaporating through that sand. Then you just drill your hole, you add your tube. I use the same size tube as these other ones, so it's a 7 16th by 5 16th. And then, in order to connect them, I use a piece that's half inch outer diameter, 7 16 inner diameter. It is a tight fit, but if you use a little bit of water, or better yet, heat, just hold it up beside a candle or a lighter for a few seconds, becomes very malleable, you can get it in, usually about a couple centimeters and it stops. And you aren't going to get it out again until you apply some heat and you have to wrestle with it. In order to get it apart, it's sometimes easier to cut your big connector section in half and then peel the other halves off with X-Acto blades or something. You got a lid with some air holes and some mesh. Tightly sealed. Connects them well. And then you have a very fancy ant display. I hope you enjoyed. Perhaps I'll bring you some more videos later. Thank you.